What is up NBA fans, it's your boy KB back here again with another video for you guys and today we're going to be talking about a couple of players that have the highest potential to win the 2018-2019 NBA Rookie of the Year award. Now everybody, let's get right into this video, shall we? Colin Sexton, aka the Young Bull. Bro, I got a lot of love and adoration for this hooper right here. He is a talented and hardworking dude, and his nickname, though, it really suits his tenacity on the floor. This guy, Sexton, has a gritty play style that everyone, and I mean everyone, should appreciate. And it will easily translate at the highest level. I do got a few concerns about him being the rookie of the year though. I feel like his reckless and almost bull like style of play could end up causing a few turnovers here and there, and his playmaking skills is still in question. But with all them knockdown shooters around him, he can easily pad up them assist numbers. And, you know, that's what you got to do to win rookie of the year. You know what I'm saying? Oh, by the way, last but definitely not least, his jumper. I think he has a pretty decent pull-up game off the dribble. But with his off-ball game, though, oh, man, I don't know, man. Other than that, the Cavs have no choice but to run the offense through him as the primary ball handler due to their lack of ball handlers on the roster. Just a bunch of catch and shoot guys on that team and you got you know just george hill and jordan clarkson but that's pretty much it colin sexton is a high volume scorer that can drop over 18 points per game and due to all the trash defensive point guards in this league and all that spacing the cavaliers have we're going to see tons of isolation plays coming from him and him attacking the basket with ease with that crafty skills around the rim oh yeah let's not forget about his above average defense that will make instant impact and the Cavaliers, you know, they're a pretty decent team as a whole, so you can add in a few wins here and there. Overall, in my opinion, I truly believe he has a pretty good shot at being the 2019 Rookie of the Year. DeAndre Aiden. First of all, did you see this man ball out last night? This man was on his bully. He looked like he was given a stamina boost for how active he was. But I'm going to take these preseason games with a grain of salt and pepper. Like we all should know. It's just preseason, so let's just chill out, you know, just a bit. Like we all should know, it's just preseason, so let's just chill out, you know, just a bit. But man, oh man, I truly believe Aiden is a certified 16 and 8 guy at his worst. You know, he has a great combination of size, weight, strength, and speed. All that mashed up into a nice bowl of enchiladas. And you got yourself a rather intimidating and yummy prospect that will make things look really easy on the floor. Aiden is by far the most complete rookie in this draft. He looks better than most big men in his league already. He already has a respectable mid-range shot. You know, it kind of appears that way. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm over here drooling just watching this guy play. I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of hard for putting him in second place, but I do have some concerns. I know that the Suns are in desperate need of a pass first type of player to bring back that almost Nash and start of my duo. It's gonna be hard for him to get to touches if most of their guards are look like they're trying to score all the time. And Booker, in my opinion, one is the main guy. He'll be looking to get his own, trying to average like 30 points per game, as in a way gonna sort of hurt his chances and hinder his touches. Uh, and the last thing I gotta say by him is his drive, just how long he's gonna stay intense. Rumors say he has a problem with losing interest in basketball, but I think it was just college and no one really cares about college ball. Hopefully that's the reason, you know, his defense was not all that great, but I digress. He's almost a sure thing for the 2019 Rookie of the Year. Now to give it up for the player that I believe has the best shot at winning the 2019 Rookie of the Year award. Benjamin Simmons. <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm just playing, man. You guys know how to do that. Come on. I had to use that Kawhi laugh, you know, the whole Ben Simmons, not a rookie thingy. All right, I know it was pretty cringe, but come on. You guys, don't lie. You guys smiled a bit. But for real, though, Ben Simmons has a lot of similarities with this guy here. He can pass the ball. He's a big point guard, can rebound well due to his size. You know, let's just imagine here. Let's just imagine. Just imagine if Ben Simmons was a bit shorter and less athletic and can actually shoot the ball guess who that will be luka the god Doncic. yeah i know i fell for the luka hype train shout out to the hawks though by the way this draft day trade finna be the biggest l in the hawks history but that's not my point here you know back to luka man 
I feel like this guy is a complete package. He's the point guard of the future, can dribble good enough to get by the defenders, can see over defenders and rise up for jumpers, can pass better than some star guards in his league already. Man, I can't really pinpoint his flaws. You know, he got can play multiple positions and play really good in transition. Useful on and off the ball. Not just a ball pounder, you know, he's not going to just dribble there for 20 seconds and then pass the ball. And his only flaw is really his lateral quickness and appears this whole summer he's been working hard on it. So that's great. And last but definitely not least, he's a EuroLeague legend. Played in Europe against some grown men at a very young age. And to make things better, he has achieved success. Man, it's foolish not to have this man as 2019 Rookie of the Year.